guys. Time to play 4550 here. I'm gonna be doing just like maybe a side series right here called Off the Wall. It's basically gonna be like, in case I forget to throw up videos of my finds or whatever, it'll be like the Lost, Lost episodes, whatever you wanna call it. I just got done cleaning my uh, closet. <coughs> no pun intended. <laughs> And uh, I emptied some of my boxes, and I actually found some things I forgot I had, so I'll show you a few of them. <coughs> Anyways, I uh, forgot I had a Sega CD uh, instruction manual or user's guide, which is actually still in pretty good condition. You know, so you can play CDs and stuff like that. So, yeah, shows you how to put it together and all that, but, got that, and I forgot that, uh, <coughs> I'm pretty sure you guys know my dad plays games, if not, he, uh, he, he still plays a whole bunch of games and stuff, he has two games, can you all that, but anyways, when he buy, when he usually buys them, he just puts them in a CD case, and gets rid of the, uh, instruction manuals and the, uh, covers, but maybe, uh, Two or three years ago, I had I, I got these from him and I put them away and I forgot I had them. So, but anyways, <coughs> nuclear strike for uh, PS1, uh, instruction manual and stuff. Pretty good condition. There's a few pages right there. And then I know I got the uh, <coughs> back insert, which is still in pretty good condition. So. I know I got this game, I think. So I'm um, gonna probably got the whole thing then, so but anyways. We got super trucks. Yeah, super trucks racing for the PS2. Just the uh, artwork. <coughs> and then Rally Fusion. I don't know if this game's gonna be good. I I thought when I first looked at it it was pretty good. But uh I think I remember my dad saying it wasn't any good or not, but he usually only plays like Gran Turismo and stuff like that. But <clears throat> then we got 007 Nightfire for the GameCube right here. And then, <clears throat> I know I got this game somewhere, I can't remember where I put it. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, this is for the PC. Fuck, I remember playing this game, it was... I remember I had a bit of a time playing it, but once I got the hang of it, yeah, I was just killing them. It was just basically a key summary guy telling me which buttons to press and all that. So. <clears throat> and then, even though it's kind of messed up a little bit, I got the, uh, not the front, the cover, front cover's gone, I got the back one, but anyways, uh, Lost World Jurassic Park, the instruction book, that whatever's left of it. I mean, you still got the basic instructions and everything in there, but just the front cover is gone, so. <clears throat> and then we got NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Instruction book, that. Still in pretty good condition. That's just a few pages right there. Just a little bit right there, but I'll put it inside the book and flatten it out and like brand new. And then we got <coughs> for the GameCube, uh, All Star Space One 2002. And if you guys want these, uh, just send me a PM or throw it in the comment below and we'll figure out some. And then I got uh, Metal of Honor Frontline for the PS2. It's a little, little bent, bent out of shape a little bit, but there's like no tears or anything, so it's still pretty good. That's the artwork. <laughs> and then I guess I got my little bottle front line for the GameCube. Same thing, the artwork. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know if it means anything or not, but uh, precautions both for the GameCube. Right there. Star Wars Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron 2 for the game. <coughs> and then another 
Watch the book right there. And then we got Fireplace. And then we kind of like those helicopters game. Helicopter games. He played Desert Strike, that's the kind of stuff that he's in, so. Yeah. A lot of the stuff they got nowadays, it's just a little bit too complicated for them to play. got grind session for the P PS1. I'll be doing a, a video sometime soon. Probably the, this week once I get my Nintendo stuff done. I'm probably going to be doing that after this video, but anyways, I got I already got grind session. This is another copy right here. But I got to try and buff this up because it doesn't seem to play. It looks like it's, you know, there's no scratches on it. For some reason, it just won't play. I tried it on my PS3, my PS1, my fucking PS, my two PS2s, and it still doesn't play. <coughs> it might be on the inner piece right there. It's a bit scratched right there, onto the and then it goes onto the disc. It won't read it at all. <coughs> I'll see what I can do. But anyways, given if the given doesn't work, I still got the uh, instruction book and the back cover. So. <coughs> And this, this is just off the wall right here. I got a, a Yu-Gi-Oh card, which I I used to play and collect all those, but I don't collect that stuff unless it's the uh, the original, I guess the base set, if that's what it's called, the original <coughs> series that came out. And it's still in its uh, case right there, not even open, so that's a dark calendar. Yeah, that's pretty good. And just for the hell of it, I found the Wild Arms 3 uh, postcard. <coughs> Wish I would have taken a little bit better care of it, but I still got it. So, that's that. And this right here, I forgot I even had, was a Mega Man. Some kind of a watch. Tilts like you can hang it on the wall or on the ceiling or whatever. The case is kind of messed up, but it's been sitting in there well over five years, so <clears throat> but it still works and everything, so that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. And I guess when I was floating around moving stuff out looked in the box and I found uh, Paperboy 2 for the Super Nintendo, so I'm going to try and clean that up as best as I can and try it out and see if it works. Contacts look alright. That's Paperboy 2. And I did, I found a, <coughs> it's kind of cracked a little bit, but like a color for a PS1 memory card. It's not really that much of a big deal, but probably just throw it in there. And then I found uh, a rumble pack for the Dreamcast controller. So I knew I had some art script in the at once. And then I also got a case for Star Wars Battlefront 2 the PS2. And it also comes with the uh, instruction manual. And I bought the first Dragon Ball Z game when it came out on PS3 and it came with the, uh, the bonus Blu-ray for uh, the first movie. 